drive this route before you come out here? Because the, the routine is for the driver to drive out there, check out the route, see if it, you know what it can, needs to be done and what we have to deal with. He says, yeah, I came out here. I said, but I was drunk. So I didn't, me and the guy, I was with, both of us were drunk, so I, I don't remember all this. Well, we got up to some guy's house, cutting trees on both sides, dragging them off. Got up to some guy's house. Look, we haven't even been an eighth of a mile yet. And he said, no, you are not going to cut my favorite tree in my yard. So they had to pay him for that tree. And it was nighttime before that all happened. By that time, I called the rest of the guys to come out and help me. And uh, we got to nighttime, so we had to come back. Now, they had, the road was blocked. They had to go around. Nobody could get through. Okay? The next day, it was snowing. Hardcore. We got two or three chainsaws. Three or four guys, in addition to the three or four guys that were with the driver. And we cut trees all the way down that road. Whenever we got to where... It had to go off the road. It was uphill to the right. And there was no way to get there. You had to go straight up through a ditch. And he goes, I think I can just drive through that ditch. I can just you know, go right over with the wheels. I said, no, you can't. I'm not going to use his name because he might still be alive. You cannot. It will not happen. And it's snowing, wet, nasty. He didn't get anywhere, and he sunk the truck and the trailer on the side of the hill. So these people were pretty impatient. Now, this is the second day, and we're running out of daylight again. So they had a friend, a long-time family friend, that had a 1940s two-ton truck with a big winch. I mean, it's a big one. Old truck. I mean, like with round fenders, round hood. And come up there and he says, who's in charge here? And I, and I almost said his name. Uh, he pointed to me. Didn't matter that there were a bunch of other people that had their own business and everything that were there now. We're almost nine people trying to build up this mobile home. I said, Jack in here, not there. That kind of stuff. They were Jack in the wrong place. Build up underneath these wheels. I said, he goes, pointed to me. So I goes, he goes, where do you want to put this mobile home? And it was way up on top of the side of this field. Up a steep hill. I mean steep. He said, come with me. So I walk up a steep hill, slogging with muddy shoes and wet from being in the ditch. He says, I want, want you to tell me when I'm getting too far up. I'm going to set my truck right here. I'm going to put blocks behind it. I'm going to pull the winch up. I'm going to pull the truck, stand it on its end, but I can't hardly tell when I'm going to flip over. So I need you to stand up here and tell me when I can get up to about this point where you think it might start rolling over, pull over backwards. I said, well, all right. So they got hooked on, hooked on to the... That big old winch, that big old PTO drive winch, he'd stand that truck, that truck up, and then he would let off on it, and it just the weight of the truck being up in the air, pull the the, the mobile home mover truck and the trailer, probably seven, eight feet, ten feet at a time. We did that over and over, and we got into dark. Got the mobile home up on the side of the hill. We then rolled two tires off. He goes, what do we got to do now? He goes, we're going it this way, the owners. So now we're, he says, we got to do this tomorrow, man. I can't, I can't do this in the dark anymore. I can't, it's too dangerous. So we come back the next day and set the house up on the hill, hillside. And they said, we'll set, we'll, we'll level up the house. You guys don't got to do that. Well, the house is leaning like this on the side of a hill. I said, uh, ma'am, you do know that this is going to be a real dangerous job. Yeah, well, we can do this. It's okay. Now, 
after that, the call was back. Snow on the ground, jack the thing up. Lots and lots and lots of blocks. Way back in there. Effectively, it was three and a half days to get that house moved and set up. That is what happens when you have people that are not very professional, that are supposed to be professional. And I got lots of stories. I'll tell you some more another time.